Hello guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here, back for another Minecraft video, and today I will be doing another mod showcase. I hope- You locked me out. Franklin? Franklin, are you in there, buddy? Let me in. What? It says, this door is locked. You need a key to open it. What the heck? Do I need, like, a lever? Oh, uh, what the heck is going on? This is... Uh, no? <laughs> Franklin, what have you done, buddy? You locked me out like... Oh, chest. <gasps> There's a key. The mod showcase house. Oh, Franklin, you clever son of a gun. Is this gonna work? <gasps> Fine. Okay, guys, the door's open now. Okay, so it looks like I needed a key for that. Uh, what? Franklin, what kind of shenanigans are you pulling there, buddy? What? Oh, what are you trying to do? Oh my goodness, Franklin. All right, so does a key open this? Nope. Okay, so it is a lock pad. Um, all right. Uh, one. <laughs> Wrong? Are you serious? What about this one? Uh, one, 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 one. Like the most generic password ever. Uh, oh, oh, I know something. One, two, three, four. There we go, Franklin. Oh, do you think you could keep me out, buddy? You can't keep me out forever. I'll get in. Uh, you try and lock me out of the mod showcase house. And then you try and lock me out of your den. Franklin, you're just crazy little spider. And it looks like we have the door security mod. Uh, it all makes sense now, buddy. You're, you're one clever son of a gun. <laughs> yes, you are there. But you can't keep me out forever. All right, so let's uh go in here. It looks like uh, we have a key lock door. We have a code lock door. And we have a bunch of keys. Let's just throw them in here, guys. We're going to need these for the mod showcase to show off some of the cool features of this mod. All right, and we also have a lock door remover. That's a very important part of this mod. We also have a key redstone lock, a code redstone lock, and iron door and redstone. And as always, guys, Franklin's question of the day. Let's read this. What is your favorite Minecraft item? Um, diamond pickaxes. Gosh dang it, Franklin, you know me way too well. All right, guys, so make sure to go post what your favorite Minecraft item is in the comments down below. If you don't have one, I mean, just kind of think of something. I really don't know. Oh, do I have to enter the passcode again? Gosh dang it. Oh, this thing, <laughs> security craft or whatever it's called. It's so crazy good. All right, let's uh, head outside and I can show you guys some other cool features that this mod has. And also, guys, it would be amazing if we can get 100 likes for this macho case. My last macho case, I did instant structures. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of them. And then uh, there's also some like over there and such. So if you missed that video, definitely go make sure to check it out. But we did really well with likes that video. We got over 200 already, which is freaking amazing, guys. You guys just surprised me every single day. So yeah, that'd be really awesome if we can get 100 likes for this video. But anyway, let's move on to the actual showcase. So let's put down this little key lock door here but I'll, first i'll show you the craft recipe so you create a key lock door it's obsidian and an iron ingots on the left side so we can place this down right here and pretty much to open it you're going to need to craft yourself a key so key is either four iron ingots like this or four iron ingots like this and then one redstone in uh just one of the corners i guess so yeah, it's not really that hard to craft, but you are going to need it when you do craft yourself a key lock door. So here, I already have one, so we can just actually delete this, and we can get a brand new key so I can showcase how this works. So pretty much, if you have a brand new door that doesn't have a key already binded to it, you pretty much just right-click it with it, and it will say enter name. So we'll just name this test, and then all you have to do is hit done. So pretty much, it'll say this door is now locked with the key test. So now when I try and open it, boom, it will open with this. But say I go in and get another key boom and i try and open it with this see this door is already locked with test so it's going to say that i cannot open this door pretty much because i do not have a key you know this isn't the right key basically so the key is binded to this door so pretty much you just have one key for every door well what you could do is if you want to have multiple keys for uh, multiple doors pretty much you could just put down another key lock door and get out the same key test and then it'll bind to this one as well so now both of these will open with test but if I try to open it with a regular old key or a key that's binded to another door, it will not work because I need the key test. So it's a really neat concept, guys. It creates uh, some pretty unique things. You know, you can make it so maybe you don't want people stealing your diamonds or stuff like that. You can pretty much make it uh, a little bit more alarmed and like uh, security, pretty much like that. You can add security to your base, pretty much. So, you know, people can't get in and steal your crap. And the best part about these, if I go into game mode zero right here, and then I try to break these, they will not actually break. The only way to break them is with this thing called a lock door remover. So let's uh, 
pop out this little baby right here and pretty much the door has to be open so even if i try to open it with this it'll say please open the door to remove it so once i do open the door and i right click it with the lock door remover boom you get the door right here and it is just you know a brand new door and if i place it back down oh this is actually the code door all right so if i were to place down the regular old lock door then it will be brand new and then i could bind it to a different key now so as you can see i can enter a new name just test two or anything like that and then boom we can open it again or I could have rebinded it to test, whatever I wanted to do. So this one is binding to test right now. So if I try to open it with test two, it would not work. It says I need the key test. So that's uh, pretty much the whole concept of this. Now, as you saw, I uh, placed down this little one right here, which is actually a code one. So it actually makes it so you need a code to open it. So when I place this down right here uh, and right click it, oh, it'll give you this little GUI right here, which is actually really neat. Kind of looks like a calculator almost. And then it'll say new. So you have to enter in a unique passcode. And uh, I'm not sure how long it could be. Let's see how many digits it can be. So it can be up to, I think that's five digits possible. So it could be up to five digits, which is really awesome. You can get probably thousands of different unique codes from that. So let's just do one, two, three, four, five. And <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, what did I do? <laughs> oh God, I messed this up real bad. Um, okay, so I accidentally pressed OK last time. So what did I do? One, two, three, six, nine. Okay, good. All right, glad I remember that. So yeah, this one will open only with a code. So that's kind of neat as well. We could try that once again. Let's actually remove this. And then we could try again because I kind of almost messed up on the last one. Let's try this one more time. Let's just enter one, two, three, four. But you can also use the number pad if you want to. So I'm going to use the number pad for this and hit OK. And then it'll open and then you can close it. And then you, for somebody to get in, you have to do one, two, three, four. But say I did like one, two, three, four, five and enter the wrong code, it'll say wrong and it will not open. And same thing with this door. I cannot break it, which is really awesome. And it does not work with a redstone signal. It only works if you put in the code or you use the key. So there are a few more features to this. Let's just move back here. Uh, so pretty much now we have the key redstone and the code redstone. But first, I actually forgot to show you the recipe for the coded one. Let's actually grab that. So let's go in here. One, two, three, four. And then let's grab this. So the recipe, recipe for this is pretty much the same as the key lock door. All you really need is iron ingots, obsidian, and a redstone in the middle. And to actually get the remover, I'm not sure if I show this or not, uh, you need five iron ingots, redstone, and a flint and steel. So that's actually not that hard to craft. But the best part about it is that you actually need to open the door to actually get it. So somebody can't just come up and, you know, remove your doors without actually knowing the passcode or having the key, which is really awesome. So anyway, let's move on to the key redstone and the code redstone lock. So to craft the code, uh, the key redstone lock is just, I think that's eight iron and one redstone. And to craft the code one, it is eight iron and two redstone. So let's uh, place these down. These things are a little bit different. So pretty much when you have it placed down, uh, this one actually does require a key. So let's get out a brand new key and let's bind it to this. We can do just redstone key, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. All right, so pretty much this one will actually activate a redstone current in all of the directions. So it'll, redstone current will activate here, 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 and I believe on top of it as well, if you wanted to do that. But let's just have a little test right here. We can have this going back here, and then let's have an iron door right there. So I think I, if I place iron door, boom, right there. So then if I bind this key right there, which I already did, and then boom. If you open it with the right key, it will activate the redstone and it can open a door or can open like a piston trap or whatever you want to open. It will, you know, activate with redstone and it can open doors, you know, uh, piston traps uh, or it can open like piston doors or anything like that. So it just uh, allows for some neat little things that you can do with redstone with this little mod right here. So again, if I try to open it with the wrong key, obviously it will not work. So let's close this, and then if I open it again, it's say I need the redstone key. So I think that a neat little feature would be that if you actually opened it with the wrong key or you put in like the wrong passcode, and, like an alarm would go off or the or the owner of the actual key or the block would be notified that someone, you know, tried to get in with the wrong test or whatever, you know, the case was. So let's try that again, but this time we have the code redstone lock. So let's uh, place this thing down. And oh, once again, guys, these things cannot be broken. Even with a diamond pickaxe, nothing can be broken. You know, these things are indestructible, kind of like bedrock. So you cannot break these things, which is really awesome. And also to get rid of them, you just need to use the uh, door remover. So if I just, oh, well, we have to open it first. So if I were to just open this and then boom, click on it and it will go away. So let's actually try this out with the coded one right here. So if I want to do a code, just like one, one, one. Okay, that will actually activate redstone. So right now is activating some redstone. We can connect that up. Uh, let's connect it up right there. Boom. All right, let's actually do time set day real quick. Boom. Okay. And yeah, so that pretty much just works the same exact thing, except this one has a code. And same thing, guys. Uh, well, let's just do one, one, one. Boom. And it'll close. But if I do the wrong code, 
it will say wrong and it will not activate. So this is uh, pretty much everything in the mod, guys. I don't, there really isn't anything you know too complicated about it. It just adds a little bit extra security to your game. I mean, really Minecraft right now, you could pretty much break through any block and there isn't really much security. I mean, you could make a little room out of obsidian, but I mean, it's not really going to help you too much because obviously people could still break in with that and, you know, it, it they could steal all your crap, honestly. But this mod adds in a cool new feature where you can actually protect your stuff, you know, your diamonds and your gold and all your valuables, you can actually protect it. So you guys, that wraps up this little video. Make sure you go pound the like button if you enjoyed this little mod showcase and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. But you guys, wraps us up. My name is Beck Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.